Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and today we're gonna talk about the Practice Models app found at TooTallToby.com under this heading here, Practice Models. So if we click on that heading, Practice Models, we can see that we've got a library of currently 99 Practice Models challenges. You can see we start out at the top and come all the way down to the bottom here. And as users complete these challenges, their name gets added to the community scoreboard. So we can see here on the community scoreboard up at the top, we've got none other than JMac using Onshape and has completed 90 of these challenges. Currently we have 99 and Jamie has completed 90 of these. But as we scroll down through this Practice Models community scoreboard, you can see that we've got users from all over the world using all different 3D CAD packages to complete these 2D to 3D practice models challenges. So what are the practice models challenges? Well, again, what we do is we start out here at twotalltoby.com and we can click on this practice models link. The URL is twotalltoby.com slash practice. And here we see this entire library of practice models. We start out here at level one. And as we go down through these different practice models challenges, we get to level two, level three, level four, level five, all the way up to level 11. And what this represents is the year 2024 and the month, November. So every month we are adding new practice models. We add one every couple of days and we end up with 10 new challenges every month. But the problem is that currently I cannot click on any of these challenges and actually take the challenge. And that's because I need to log in with my free Too Tall Toby user account. So you can see here, you can click log in to your Too Tall Toby user account, and then you can either create a new user account for free, or you can log in using your existing account. So I'm gonna log in here, and then I'm gonna go back to practice models, and now we see that underneath each of these practice models challenges, there's a little gray button that says click here to practice. So let's say we go to the second challenge here, 240102. It looks like the complexity here is a tier four complexity and this is a machined part. So I click here to practice and then I'm presented with some new information. So we can see here that the drawing name is bearing bracket. This is a tier four part, it's a machined part and the skills tested are symmetry. We're also gonna see that over time, these tutorial videos are gonna be filled in. In fact, I'm actually gonna start doing that today. So as you go through and look at these challenges, if you get stuck, there should be a tutorial right there waiting for you. Next, we can see what's called the completion ratio. So the completion ratio here is showing us that there are 1,541 people who have done at least one practice model. And of that group, 974 have completed this particular model. Now, what does that mean to complete this particular model? Well, what it means is if we scroll down here, there's a button that says click here to begin. And when we click on that button, there's a button over here that says reveal drawing. So I'm gonna click that button, reveal drawing. And now we see our 2D to 3D challenge. If we hold control on our keyboard, we can zoom in and out, make this a little bit bigger. We can move this over to a second screen and we can try to take the information from this 2D print, including the material density. And we can take that information and we can try to turn this into a 3D model and answer the question, what is the mass of this part in XXX grams? So I'm just gonna scroll back out here and we're gonna see that there's an answer field over here for mass. I'm gonna type in the mass for this one, five, three, seven, and I'm gonna press enter and oops, that is incorrect. Your answer of 537 grams is not correct within the specified tolerance. The clock is still running. Please continue to solve. So you are challenged to take these 2D prints and turn them into 3D models. And when you get these challenges correct, what you're gonna see is that here on the community scoreboard, your name is gonna be added and your challenges are gonna be added. You're also gonna see that you're gonna be able to click on your name on the community scoreboard, and you'll be able to see a record of all the time that you've put into this app. So for example, Jay Mack, who's done 90 models, has spent a total of 18 hours, 56 minutes, and 43 seconds on the Practice Models app doing these challenges. That gives him an average time of 12 minutes per challenge, or 12 minutes 37 per challenge. And we can see over here that we can filter out different challenge tier levels. So if we wanted to see if Jamie's getting better at his tier four challenges over time, well, we could just filter this out and only show the tier four challenges and then we can see Jamie's results. 
Now, if we go back here to the main practice models page, you can see that there's also a button here for my analytics, and that's where you could see your analytics. I haven't done any of the challenges yet on this account, so I don't have any analytics, but if you click on that link, you'll be able to see your analytics. The other cool thing is when you complete a challenge, so after you go through here and you complete a challenge and you get it correct, you're gonna be presented with some additional analytics for that challenge. So you're gonna see what your time was compared to the field, you're gonna see what the fastest time was, was in the field and you're gonna see kind of a bell curve of how everybody else did who took this challenge all 974 people who have completed this challenge the final thing I want to mention to you here on the practice models app is that there's a button here at the top for show filters and if you click on that button for show filters you could say I'm just a beginner I only want to see the tier one challenges these are models that that take between usually between one and three features to complete so these are very simple models usually you just take a sketch and extrude it maybe add one more feature like a fillet and then you're done with that model so the tier one models here are the easiest and you can see here that we've got one two three four tier one models that are available for anyone with a free account on tutaltoby.com. You can also see that you could filter by tier two models. So if you wanted to go up one level in complexity, you could go to these tier two models and we've got one, two, three, four models at the tier two level that are also available for anyone with a free Too Tall Toby account. And so on and so on. You could turn on these filters here, tier three, tier four. You can kind of filter out what you want to challenge yourself to do. So here are the tier four challenges. There's quite a few of these tier four challenges here in the Practice Models app. Now, let's say you get to the point where you are done with all of the free challenges and you're ready to move on now and do more challenges. You just can't get enough. You wanna move on to some additional challenges. Well, at that point, you would be ready to click here to sign up for your premium membership. So if I click here to sign up for the premium membership, you can see here that in the premium membership, you get access to the entire library. It's actually up to 99 practice models now. Soon we're gonna be over 100. And you get access to 10 additional models every month. So we're gonna be adding 10 new models per month. So basically it's $10 for 10 new models per month. $10 for 10 new models per month. And you're also gonna get a special gold Too Tall Toby badge displayed next to your username. We saw that here on the leaderboard. We got JMac, we got Wolfman, we got uh, RHYS here on the leaderboard with that special Too Tall Toby badge. So that's what you're gonna get for the premium access. If you wanna sign up for that premium access, what you can do is you can click down here where it says, I agree. This is where you're gonna to agree to the terms and conditions of the Practice Models Premium. So be sure to take a moment to read through those terms and conditions. And then what you're gonna do is enter your credit card information down here. And what we're doing is we're processing this with a credit card uh, processor called Stripe, very reputable credit card processor. They have a lot of APIs and they have one that plugged into our system. So I'm gonna use Stripe here and I'm actually going to just do this live I want you guys to know that I trust the system so I'm going to input my credit card info here I'm going to input my credit card number and I'm going to input my expiration date CCV and my zip code and then I'm going to click get started and once I click get started that hands that credit card info off to Stripe we don't we don't ever have that credit card info it just goes right to Stripe Stripe processes it and then sends us back a return and it says here's your confirmation number you are now a premium member to the Too Tall Toby platform and now we see that we've got access to this entire library of practice models challenges 99 practice models challenges currently but I'm going to be adding one tomorrow so we're going to be up to 100 tomorrow and we're going to be adding 10 every month so we're going to continue to see this library grow you should see a lot of great functionality a lot of great challenges in here and that is the overview of practice models and practice models premium if you have any more questions about this system please let me know down below in the comments to this video or on the discord and of course be on the lookout because what you're going to start seeing is a lot of videos posted for these tutorials i'm going to start going through and populating this entire library of tutorials so that way if anybody gets stuck on any of these practice models you'll kind of have a guide to help you through that challenge so let me know down in the comments what you thought about this video, what you think about practice models. And of course, if you have any questions, let me know that as well. And I'll see everyone on the Practice Models Community Scoreboard.